Where are you going with all those bottles? Try to save the world. My connection with nature is really strong as a person. The more time I spend outside, in the outdoors, in the wilderness, the happier I am. Doing this foot-powered snowboarding and, and spending a month at a time camped out and, and disconnected has just strengthened that connection and really brought into light the importance of nature in my life. It's not only just going out there for personal enlightenment, but adventuring with a purpose, you can add this whole nother layer, which is doing really positive things for those areas. Adventures and Scientists for Conservation uh, came about because I really had this feeling like I just wanted to be doing more uh, with my time outside, rather than having totally self-indulgent experiences out there. I saw an opportunity to train and teach outdoor enthusiasts to collect scientific data. Greg is someone that I've looked up to. He was Adventure of the Year in 2008 for National Geographic. His Adventure with a Purpose approach is something I've never seen done in that manner. And to see his passion towards conservation is really cool. I think Cliff Park wanted to operate at the, at the juncture between athletic adventure and environmental sustainability. It's the idea that those who are going out and enjoying the outdoors have that responsibility to give back. And when we're going out and finding athletes who want to represent our brand, that's who we're looking for. We're finding those people who also espouse those same values. So Ryan and Cliff Bar knew that Jeremy was going to be headed out to the Himalaya. The last phone call I had uh, hopping on a plane to Nepal was with Greg. Uh, that presented a really awesome opportunity for us to uh, get some really important snow and ice samples from his route. I was all in from the get-go and got the crash course and, and how to take the samples and do the study, but it was something really cool element to this trip. Higher. I'm feeling it. Dr. Natalie Kerwald is working over in Venice, Italy, and her research is all about understanding how quickly glaciers are thinning throughout the world. Something that's really new about my work is that I'm able to show that glaciers are melting, losing mass, at elevations even as high as 6,000 meters above sea level, which is about 20,000 feet above sea level. This is important because we don't know how much fresh water exists in the world. And glaciers essentially are a big reservoir of fresh water. Some areas of the central Himalayas, for example, where Jeremy was, provides water for a minimum of half a billion people, and it could be up to two billion people. I'm uh, taking snow samples for this climate study. My final samples came after this like 12 hour day up at high elevation and just to dig a pit at that elevation and get down deep within the glacier to get the proper samples. It takes some time. I need to dig down about six feet and every like foot and a half We'll come in um, and take snow samples and send them to Italy where they're doing the study at the University of Venice. My science teacher from high school that I barely passed would be very happy to know that I um, was part of a science experiment. <laughs> We really need to know if we're losing water, if we're losing glacier mass. And so we can help give this information to people who can then decide what their policy is, how they want to adapt to less fresh water. Creating and, and working with Ventures and Scientists for Conservation has allowed me as an individual to magnify my impact and to get folks like Jeremy who care so much about the places that they play 
to give them the opportunity to contribute is an amazing feeling of being able to see my impact grow exponentially with each new person who goes out. The common denominator in this whole project between Cliff Bar, between Jeremy, and between Greg, it's this idea of adventure with a purpose, that in pursuit of these things that are selfish in nature, there's something bigger that can come from it. Without people caring about the environment and nature, it will go away. And the reality is snowboarding will be the least of our worries if we continue on this track. So, you know, find something that you connect with, because collectively, if we all do that, then um, we can make a difference.